All right, guys, welcome back to our Dominion Domination game. Quick little update of my attack into Baghdad. Uh, before we go over there, I do want to show you that this guy just keeps on streaming out stuff to here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is really make it my job number one to just bomb out this crater and just leave my, my cannon here. So you can see he continues to stream some stuff out over in this direction, but I've got a nice stack over here. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just move over uh, two more two more of these artillery pieces over to join this main piece and just have five and their whole job is going to be to bomb out this territory. Now it is a little bit scary because he could be building um, rail guns back there, but the AI does not typically do that. Although they do towards the end game, but this is not the end game. This is almost not the middle game. I mean, it is because I'm attacking into Baghdad. So technically, you know, that's my second expansion, um, but it's still, pretty early in the mid game, I would say. So I'm just hoping that's the case. So my plan here is, you know, he will take this and then I'll just bomb this out with these five cannon and maybe even let me spike uh, 10 guys forward here. Um, sorry, I didn't really plan on doing this beforehand, but I would like to do this and just have those guys spike there and then 20 with the cannon, just in case there is a rail gun, I might have a chance to react before I just lose my cannon. So there will be five cannon and 20 guys there with 10 guys spiked in front. And the idea is that they, yeah, they'll take this, but then I'm just going to keep on continuing to bomb out this particular little, in fact, I don't know why I'm running up that close when in fact, I think it's so I could get a bit of a preemptive attack on them, but I really, I really think I can get away with something a lot more. Yeah, here we go. Conservative. So let's pull that back here and let's go ahead and, Grab these guys. The further back I am, of course, the longer um, time I have to shell them when they run at me and they will run at me. That's just what the AI does all day long, every day. So again, trying to bomb this out. I'm really surprised by how aggressive he's being. He's sent already one group out to challenge Argentina over here. But what I'm hoping is that Argentina is responding to that threat. And I do see one guy coming over here. And of course, Argentina is all the way over here. So that's not great. I really wish it was the next door neighbor providing this support. But the thought being, if I bomb this out for long enough, eventually Argentina will come over and take this tile as well. And then what I can do is just sort of safely hang back maybe in these two territories and play an entirely defensive game um, just in case one of these two gets captured away from Argentina and back to uh, Captain Douchebag over here. So uh, that's kind of my strategy now. I'm going to have to keep this strong. I am running over. I believe this is three tanks, not three tanks, three artillery developed over here. So I'm going to go ahead and run them over here. And here's my thinking. The reason I'm running back here, instead of going ahead and just setting guards on these two territories and living my life over here is this. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to secure it, fortify it, and of course develop it. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this. It just makes the most sense for me in terms of where my capital is located. So you can triangulate perfectly to what will then be uh, my two extra oil fields and my home uh, territories, my home doubles. And so this is a good place for my capital to be. And then also just the fact that I'm, I'm moving and acting in this quadrant will really, really help me with containing uh, this noob douchebag over here, who, as we mentioned, is now AI. Thanks, buddy. All right, let's go ahead and look at the attack. The attack is about as expected. This crap just happens and it, it makes me mad. Uh, but what happens is you attack in and and uh, there was mm, maybe 140 guys there, but they run other guys in from the other territories. But you can see somehow I captured it before these uh, reinforcements arrived from these side territories. So that's good news because now I'm playing with zero <laughs> with zero uh, pillboxes here, defensive fortifications. And, you know, I could... I could end this factory building and start a um, fortification, but it doesn't make sense to build a fortress right now. Um, might as well just let this finish if it will. That's that's what the AI was building. So it'd be cool if I won this and I got to, you know, maybe I should, yeah, 17th Army Group, they are attacking. Hopefully these guys are not shelling the city anymore, but maybe they are, I don't know. Here's the real alarming thing though, is this dick move. God damn it, AI, you're a dick. So you can see they're coming out, not with what I thought they would come out with, which is maybe 50 at the most, but with 118. 
really 119 because a car attacks just like infantry. So 119. Um, what I do have here is a cannon that I'm moving out so he can shell from behind the uh, the fortress. This is a level five fortress, so that's good news. And really, I have essentially this is four times two because they're cars, so that's eight. So I have essentially have 35 here defending against four times that, nearly four times that number. Now, the good news is I did have 15 back here. I don't really know why, but I'm glad I did because they're running in. And I'm running in the lion's share of what's over here, which is a tank and 20 guys. My armored car that was over here is moving in fast because they can go a lot faster than tanks and infantry. And then finally, I am going to be coming in here uh, with my bombers. This is a bomber stack that needs to get to work. I really already should have done this on helping to take this apart. Now, along with, uh, along with this is a late, a Johnny-come-lately stack over here from the containment of the noob. And this is much-needed material. I debated about whether to wait until this material showed up or not, and I decided, nah, it's all right. Um, but I think these, these troops are going to arrive exactly in time. So this 21 infantry and one tank is coming straight to here. They're not going to be here for a while, of course. It's going to take a while to get there. And then these 10, 10 artillery are coming to here to shell in. So really what I'm counting on is this 20, along with this 15, that's 35, along with this 27 is 60, along with, and it's really 61, along with this 8 is almost 70 worth of defense. And then there's also a tank over here that's lending its uh, 4. Oh, and then another uh, armored car, which is lending its 2 defense. So... I've got, I think, with a level five factory, as long as these guys arrive, I've got enough to defend this until that nice stack of 10 uh, artillery shows up and that stack of 20 infantry and one tank show up. So what that's going to do for me, though, is I am I'm definitely going to hold this right here. This is looking good. Um, this guy has lost 169. So this is what I'm talking about. That's a lot of, we're talking 300 troops that I fought into here. I've also lost a lot of stuff. I've lost 44 uh, infantry. But you can see when you time your attack properly with, with just a nasty stack over here, this guy is dealing that 58.5 um, ranged attack damage per turn. And uh, let's see when I attack again in another hour or so. Um, that's just a lot of damage to be doing every hour. And that's why he's got this almost 170 casualty rate. And so real soon, I'm going to finish bombing this out and this will be clear. And then immediately, I'm going to start trying to build some forts here and really get a foothold here. Meanwhile, I hope to hold this. If I do hope, if I do hold this as I think I'm going to, then I hope to emerge out of this with maybe 70 infantry and all of the cannons. So 11 cannon, this one plus the 10 that are coming, and uh, and then maybe a tank or so. So if I if I manage to come out of that, then now we're talking 11 cannon to add in with this stack of 39. Right now we're talking 50 cannon. 50 cannon is a nice, nice little gun to be holding in your hand. Let's not forget the bombers. I'm going to continue to try to build bombers. I believe I've got two more coming, one in the center and one on the left here. Yep, so that'll be five bombers soon. Everyone else, oh, nope, make it six bombers. So I got three building back here. So six bombers on the field is a nice little strike force to have. Exactly for these kind of situations. Like you never know when, when some little side thing is going to break through and it's really nice to have those long long range attack units so over here i'm a little nervous you know like it doesn't look like he's going to pull another move like that down here it looks in fact like he's reinforcing upwards with whatever was over here um but i do yeah i've got a level five uh, the people before me had a factory started i'm not going to continue that because again i don't want too many factories going uh i don't want too many factories up because it's just wasted. And I'm about to open up nine more factories in this beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I just look at this. Look at this. So let's talk about building materials. Three double irons. One, two, three double irons. Two double woods. So I could I can build train tracks until the end of time now. And then two wheats. So it's it's really great. I've got building materials, I've got wheats, and you say, What about energy? Well, let's talk about energy. Thirty thousand oil. 30,000. So a regular oil field, like over here, is a double-double, right? So over here, that's a double-double. This is a quadruple-double, right? So a lot of oil 
on that patch. So that's going to be sweet getting that 30,000 per day, tons of building materials, really tricking out my entire landscape with plenty of railways, um, railways on all my doubles and railways to any kind of fast location. You can see I have built out railways from my uh, natural expansion all the way out to my second expansion, which is going to be Baghdad. Um, once I cross the water, you can bet I'm going to go ahead. And part of what I love about attacking over here is I did take over a lot of infrastructure over here that I have not developed. So I still got most of a railway here that I'm going to build back up again. I mean, I might as well do it now. Do I have enough resources? No. Okay. I mean, I'll worry about that later. It's really not a priority over here. There was a bunch of stuff. So I'll repair that as well as the, um, as well as this uh, harbor, I believe over here has a harbor that I really should be repairing just to get material over there. And also, yeah, this harbor is on this side of this territory. That's, you can't build two harbors. So that's kind of unfortunate, but I, you know, so the point being that like a lot of this stuff, if you look at it, here's a, a trainway, railway, whatever, partially developed back here. I've already got a factory and I'm building a cannon there because I can over here. Yeah, you can see this. So the new built me a lot of stuff and I thought it was just gonna kind of get left behind because I was thinking, my next strategy would be to stay new proof, maybe attack on in here. But as you can see, um, we now have somebody, the, uh, the, what is happening? So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was like, what? So the Basra garrison is still in charge of this oil field. So I was thinking about attacking over and taking just the entire Island, but then it did occur to me. It's like, no, no, I've already got a lot of stuff over here. Um, a lot of, you know, basically infrastructure that the new built for me. So all I have to do is repair it and then really just start swarming stuff over here. And again, positionally, it's perfect. It really couldn't be better. Here's my capital. Here's my second expansion. And this will be my third expansion. Everybody nice and close and nestled in together around this capital. And then honestly, for my fourth, it just makes sense to go ahead and take this oil field over here, take this local oil field, which is still in the hands of the original garrison. So, nutty stuff anyway thanks for checking in guys and this is just an it's just an evidence of there were 300 infantry here and by the way a bunch of uh, artillery as well which didn't get listed in that stack because i think this is a you know like when you destroy an entire stack it's gone you don't see what gets lost in it but then another 118 over here and then i just promise you there's more stuff around here i don't know how much stuff is in here total but we've just accounted for 400 infantry just in what we can see here what either got killed still is there or is over here. So I think it's going to be, I think there's more like a thousand in Baghdad. So again, if you know this answer, please let me know in the comments below. Anybody knowledgeable about this rare and unusual game mode we call Dominion Mesopotamia, please let me know. Um, how many, how many troops guard the local oil field? How many guard the small island oil field? Is it the same amount? It might be the same amount. I just, I somehow experienced this one, that the island small one is being more powerful than the local one. But again, that is very anecdotal, very experiential. I don't have any proof for that. I haven't written down any numbers. So they could be the same. And especially, I'd love to know if anybody knows how many troops are in Baghdad to start with. And then, you know, don't forget, it takes us a while to get there. And by the time we get there, he's built a lot of factories. So he even has more stuff there uh, by the time you're ready to attack in. But I'd love to know just what they start with at least. All right, that's it, guys. Um, the attack is going well. Um, when this is going bad is when I come back and this is red and most of my guys are gone. And that has happened plenty of times. I mean, I'm not doing super great here. My saving grace, of course, is this beautiful stack of 39 that's going to knock this 126 down rather quickly. So uh, take their power away, take their harming power away from hurting this stack as much as possible. I really hope to get out of this with like 140 or maybe 120 infantry, but most of those tanks should still be alive and that's good news. And then of course, all these cannon added to the 11 over here will be 50. And that'll be enough, I believe, to take the rest of Baghdad. Now, my concern, of course, as always, is Morocco. What are you gonna do, Morocco? If Morocco attacks in and takes any significant amount of this, then that will change my plans as well, although not as much. Um, I've talked about this. If Morocco attacks, I'm going to go ahead and just attack, counterattack, take everything back, and then just defend this one territory, this one beautiful giant territory that defends both of these water tiles, and then maybe stack some stuff over here defensively against Morocco. 
and then go on with my business. Uh, first of all, building up this giganto core of, of magnificent resource development and then moving everything over here to move towards my uh, third expansion. So cool stuff going on. Um, really excited about this game. It's going well. It was it was not noob proof, as we saw, but um, but in some ways it's not been that terrible putting this noob down. In some ways, it's easier than like when I'm in the middle here with a bunch of noobs on either side of me and and then usually like one attacks and then I have to put them in their place. And then towards the middle to late game, another attacks an AI attacks, you know, but by that time, most noobs are gone. But then the AI attacks me and it's like, oh, my gosh, really? So, you know, I'm not out of the weeds yet. Um, this guy over here, France, could could well attack me any minute just easily. It just happens. Let's see what my popularity is. It's pretty low by this. 51 is not bad. Oh, my gosh. So probably because I've only been attacking garrisons at this point, I've been attacked three times by this guy. He declared war on me three times, so maybe that increases my popularity, makes me more sympathetic. I don't know. All right. Anyway, that's enough, guys. Thanks for checking in to Dominion Domination. I'll see you all next time. Adios, amigos.